Hello everyone, this is uh, Petty Officer Third Class Cooper, and tonight I'm going to be teaching you guys how to put on the shirt stays for the male khaki uniform. Now shirt stays are a very key part to the uniform. They make it look snappy and militant and everything relating to that. And I've, I've seen it firsthand, right? Um, sometime in 6th grade, one of my shirt stays popped off, or not 6th grade, ninth grade. And I took all my shirt stays off because it was like at the very end of the day and it looked, my uniform looked terrible. So shirt stays, especially with like this thick uh, material is very important. So what you're going to do is, uh, what I personally normally do, so I take, I pull my shirt stays all the way up as like far as I can go, right? And then I take the side with the clip and that's the side I put like facing up. That's the side I put on the uniform. So... Can I like lower this at all? One second, let me get the camera right at the edge. Uh. Okay, that doesn't really work, but that's fine. Okay, so, and there are multiple ways to do this. This is just how I do it. You can ask one of the other upperclassmen how they uh, put their shirt stays on. There are multiple ways. So, I take the, this end. I take the end of the shirt, and so there's a crease going all the way down the shirt, and that's where you want to put it. So I put the metal part, the metal like little circle, on the end of the crease, right? Try to get it as flat as you can. Then I take the rubber part and I stick it through, right? So you gotta. I only stick it through a little bit because if you stick it up too much, and then you pull it through, it does this. And that's not how you want it. You want it to be like this. Hold on. You want it to be like that. So you only want to push it up a little bit. Um, and this just takes time to like really get used to it. Like I only really got used to it until like really the end of my freshman year. So you push it up a little bit and you pull through. So you want to pull through like this. And then what I normally do is I grab here and I push. Right? And then it should look something. It should look something like this. That's how like thick you kind of want it to be. And you do that with every single do that with every single um one on the front. Alright, so I'll finish up I'll finish this up. I don't want that one. Um okay. So again, this is like a recap for the front. Get the get the pocket seam, put the metal part on, stick the rubber part on, push it up just a little bit, grab it, pull it, and push it. It's like you're playing bop it. <laughs> grab, push, pull, whatever you gotta do. Right? And I normally keep those loose for right now. And then what you're gonna do is I normally when I'm hanging my uniform, I like to keep it buttoned up just a little bit. Right? Like maybe one, the first button and then like skip one and then the second one so this all kind of looks nice and uniform and it kind of can hold a crease better then i flip it around okay so there are three why whatever so now there are three three creases on the back of the uniform they're going to do the outer two most creases so you take your shirt stay right and you do the same thing you go to the bottom with the bottom one um, I sometimes will like fold it up a little bit. So while well, I'm doing it right now, the back is just really long. So if you fold it up, it can help. But that, I only do that sometimes. I, I don't personally don't like doing that because it can mess with the shirt stay and it's easier to pop out. But if it can get a nicer and like tighter pull, which is really important on like Import, it's really important to have like good shirt stays on like a very big inspection like if we go to national or not if when we go to nationals this year then it's very important to have tight shirt stays because at nationals everyone everyone is good right so you have to be the best of the best and so and shirt stays will give you trouble like this one is giving me trouble right now 
it's just it's how it is you know you're gonna get used to it it still takes me a while sometimes to get some shirt stays on and it's very important that you pull it as tight as you can because it's very annoying in the middle of the day to have your shirt stay pop you do not want that to happen it's happened to, it's happened to everyone but it's just it's a it's a pain in the butt because you, well, at least when you're wearing the uniform you want to look good because obviously if you look bad in the uniform then you look really bad but if you look good you can look extremely good so okay so now all well, the shirt stays are on looking like you got like a spider and sometimes if you have two extra ones you can put them like here and then here for some extra pull and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys how to put them onto your socks let me just find a pair of dress socks no that's good that's good okay so these are my dress socks right um these are not the ones that I got issued. I personally like to use my own pair of dress socks, which are these, because you'll get, so with these dress socks at least, right, they're long, so they go up to like the middle of my knee. Or not the middle of my knee, they go up to like a little bit beneath my knee, as you can see. And that's good for the shirt stays because it won't have to go as far, so it's less likely to pop. So you put your dress socks on, right? And dress socks are really thin. So this is this is why we can use shirt stays because on thicker socks, it's really hard. So get them up as much as you can. And then you take your khaki uniform. You're gonna unbutton it. You should have a white undershirt. I do not right now, but this is just for instructional purposes. And then so you're gonna put on your uniform. Oh, you're gonna put on your uniform. Make sure it looks all nice. I just put all my devices on, so hopefully they look good. Obviously, you want to button. You want to make sure you button up as all the buttons, right? Because if one's loose, like especially on the bottom, it can just look. It won't make a huge difference, but it, it can make an impact sometimes. Okay, so now. Now once you get to this part. So, no, normally I have my underwear on, but I'm not doing that in a video. So, now that you're on this part, you have two options. You can either cross your shirt stays. So, you would take the back shirt stays, put them at the front of your socks, or take and like vice versa. Or, you can just clip them straight down. I personally like to cross them. Because then it like it'll pull them back forward and then it pulls the front back, so it makes the uniform look snappier. So I'll take my back my back right shirt stay, right? I'll pull it up, and then so I take this end of my sock, I put the metal part on, and then I put the rubber part through, right? And I hold it and I just pull, right? Pull it more. And then bam, now you have your first shirt stay on. And you do that with the back one now. So you take your back shirt stay, you you open up a little space, put it, put the metal part, stick the little rubber through, push on it and pull. Now this will take, I'm doing this pretty easily, but I've had practice, I've spent, you know, Two, I spend a lot of time putting this uniform on, so I know how to. I know like the little tricks you can do with your shirt stays to make it easier to get on. And you just do the same thing with the other side. So you're gonna put them through, like so. Sometimes it takes a little bit. Now, here's the. So now it looks something like this, right? They're crossed. And now. So what you want to do is you want to take the clips right here, you want to open them, and you want to go down. I personally like to get it as tight as I can. Now that being said, it's risky because your mobility is limited, like it's a lot, it's really limited. <laughs> like, 
Now, one thing, I like to get them as tight as I can, right? And that, it's hard sometimes, right? And you want to try to get it as even as possible. Like, you don't want one end being super tight and the other end not being tight at all, right? And now, same thing here. So you're going to unclip it. I'm just going to pull it down, right? I like to grab, like, the little opening that it creates, and I like to pull that through because it's really hard to get it through with your fingers, right? So get it, I, like, get it as tight as you can, right? Now I'm a tall guy, and I still have these pretty, pretty far down. And now, and now it's tight, but like I said, when you have your shirt safety tight, you cannot move. Like, this is like, it's, I'm trying to think of an example, but you, it's, it's hard to move, right? Especially with like your chest, if it's just constantly pulling down. And by the end of the day, so if you look at my socks, my socks are being pulled up. That's going to be digging into your skin. And obviously, if you're a guy and you have leg hair, it's going to suck because the shirt are going to pull on your leg hair a lot. So, but yeah. That's how you properly put on your shirt stays for the male uniform. Like I said, there are multiple ways to do this. It all depends on preference. So if you don't like the way I did it, that's completely fine. Everyone has their own preference. I would just ask another upperclassman um, on how they do theirs. See, see what works for you. See what doesn't. Other than that, um, have a great night.